morning, my dears. Hope you're all perfectly fine. Be aware of our situation now regarding coronavirus spread throughout the whole world. So, stick to the rules and stay safe at home. I'm the English teacher of grade 2, Ms. Nuran Anwar. And now, we're gonna have our selection session of lesson 11. Our text today called Clack, Clack, Moo, Cows, That, Toy. Okay. Okay, who wrote it, guys? Doreen Cronin. Who wrote it? Doreen Cronin. Okay. What's the genre of the story? The genre of the story is humorous fiction. Humorous fiction is a type of a story that is written to make the reader laugh. Okay. So, what's the humorous fiction, guys? Is a story that's written to make the reader laugh as you read. Okay? Okay. Now let's see and point out the humor of the story here. Okay. Former Brown has a problem. His cows like to talk. All day long he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, click tick clack moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, click, tick, clack, moo. Oh, so guys, former Brown hears the sound of the typewriter inside the cow's place, right? Oh, so it's not logical to believe that the cows can type right yeah so let's see what's next then he couldn't believe his eyes dear former brown the barn is very cold at night we would like some electric blankets sincerely the cows oh guys so the cows wrote a note outside their barn Oh, okay, now let's see what's next. It was bad enough. The cows had found the old typewriter in the board. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Former Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the board door. Sorry, we're closed. No mug today. Oh, poor former Brown. He wouldn't take any milk from them as long as he didn't get them what they want. Which is electric blankets. Okay, now let's see what's next. No milk today? Cried former Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click tick clack moo. The next day he got another note. Dear former Brown, the hands are called too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Oh, so they complained for the hands too, right? Okay, now let's see. So guys, the cows wanted electric blankets and and the cows also wanted for the hens electric blankets, right? Okay, let's continue. The cows were growing impatient with the former. Oh, they don't want to wait, right? They left a new note on the barn door. No eggs. No eggs! cried former Brown. In the background, he heard them click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. Click the clack moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Whoever heard of such a thing? How can they run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Former Brown was furious. So the hens went on strike and said, Closed, no milk, no eggs. Oh, poor Former Brown. Let's see what's next. Former Brown got out his own typewriter. 
Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Former Brown. Oh, so Former Brown asked for milk and eggs, but he didn't want to give them the demand, which is electric blankets, right? Oh, okay. Duck was a neutral part, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Okay, let's see. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the board to snoop. But none of them could understand moo. All the night long, Former Brown waited for an answer. Doc knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Former Brown a note. Okay, so guys, what do you think is written on the note? Mm, let's see. Dear Former Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Doc over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Okay. So, what was the deal between the cows and former brown? Yeah, exactly. They would exchange their typewriter with their demand that they have asked for it before, right? Which is what? The electric blankets. Okay, let's continue. Former Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Doc to come with the typewriter. Okay, now that's the funny thing here. The next morning, he got a note. Oh, dear Former Brown, the pond is quite boring. We would like a diving board, sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack, click, clack, quack, click, -de clack, quack. Oh, poor Farmer Brown. He didn't get rid of the problem. Poor him, poor him, poor him. Okay, and the dog took the typewriter. Now, Farmer Brown had to go with their flow and give them their demand, which is a diving board. Now, the pond gonna be fun for them and not boring anymore right okay so now let's see our readers notebook page 162 have you opened it guys yeah good guys okay what did the cows tell former brown oh the cows asked for an electric blankets as their bar is called at night right yeah, good guys. Okay. Now, question number two. What did the hens want Farmer Brown to know? Oh, the hens want Farmer Brown that they want electric blankets too, as they are also cold. Right? That's when the cows sent their note. Right? Okay. Now, let's see. Also, the cows and the hens went on strike, saying no milk and no eggs. Perfect, guys. Okay. What did the ducks tell Farmer Brown? Oh, ducks told Farmer Brown that they want a diving board as their pond is so boring. Right? Okay. So, are you done, guys? Are you done? Yes, good guys. Okay, let's go to the next page, 163. Got it, guys? Okay, which was your favorite animal? What if Homer Brown and that animal could talk to each other? What would they say? Use the examples from the text and illustrations you found to make a cartoon. Use speech bubbles to show what Palmer Brown and the animal might say. 
Okay, I'll leave that for you guys to be as a homework or an activity I can say. Okay, so have fun and be creative. Okay, now let's see our sheet. Okay, what's the gender of the story guys or of the text? Oh, fantasy or humorous fiction? Oh yeah, humorous fiction, good guys. What was the former's problem at the beginning? His cows like to eat or his cows like to type? Oh, his cows like to type. Yes, perfect. Good guys. Okay. What was the cow's reply when the former didn't agree on giving them an electric blanket? Oh, they left to note saying sorry, no milk today or they left to note saying goodbye. Oh, yeah. They left to note saying sorry, no milk today. Okay, Hans threatening note was Sorry, no eggs or sorry, no milk Oh yeah, yes exactly We don't get milk from the hens, right? So their threatening note was Sorry, no eggs, right? Okay, now let's see number 5 Ducks demanded an ocean or a driving board Diving words, perfect, good guys. Okay, number six. At first, Doug was at what party? Neutral or natural? Oh, neutral. That means that the dog didn't want anything specific at first, but at the end, that was the funny thing. Okay, okay, so it was neutral party. Okay. Number seven was the former surprised seeing his cow's newt. Yes or no? Oh, yes, he was surprised. Okay, number eight. Has the former got rid of his problem when he gave the cows their blankets? <laughs> yeah, yes or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so, okay, hope you got the concept of today's. So, and don't forget to do your homework. So, see you soon, safe and sound, and hope you're all perfect.